Good morning students. I hope you all are safe and healthy. Today we will read the next part of the story. Expert detective from where we left. In the previous part we come to know that the children got unexpected holiday due to monsoon. Maya wrote something in a large block letter. She wrote catching a crew. Expert detectives Nishad and Maya Pandit by appointment to the whole world. The narrator makes a long list of all the information they have collected about their target. He reads it loud. He reads it out to Nishad. They don't know what Mr. Nath's first name is. They must discover it. The other tenants at Shankar House say that Nath is mad, strange and unfriendly. He doesn't talk to anyone. He is under Mama's medical treatment, so he has to be polite to the children. He receives no letter. He has been living in room 10 for more than a year. He doesn't work to earn his livelihood. He has no visitors only on Sunday affair. White man come to him for lunch. Food and tea are taken to his room by Ramesh from the restaurant distributors. Nishad doesn't pay much attention to the narrator's list of facts. He only pities that poor man is so lonely. He does not have any friend. The narrator argues that how can a crook have friends? He said that Sunday visitor must be Nas friend. He said that the Sunday visitor must be Nas partner in crime and comes on Sunday to give a part of ill gotten money to Mr. Nath. Nisha said angrily to Maya that if you call Mr. Nath a criminal, then I don't want to discuss anything with you. As for Rimesh, Mr. Nath bribes him to keep quiet about his criminal activities. Nisha does not quite agree with the narrator. He says he will not cooperate in the investigation if they did not stop calling Mr. Nath an escape criminal. In his opinion, the purpose of their inquiry is to find out why Mr. Nath is so thin and also why he is so lonely. He declares that he likes Mr. Nath and he will try to befriend him. The narrator laughed at the madness of Nishad. He warns him that the police would take him also to the jail with his friend. Nishad walks out of the room quietly. Students, now it's time to see what we have learned from this content. Question number one is, what was going on in Nishad's mind? Options are, Nishad thought that Mr. Nath was a criminal. Nishad thought that Maya is wrong. Nishad was thinking about Mr. Nath's gaunt appearance on his loneliness or none of the above. Correct option is, Nishad was thinking about Mr. Nas gaunt appearance on his loneliness. Question number two is, what was Maya's view about Mr. Nath? Options are, Maya considered Mr. Nath a poor man. Maya was sure that Mr. Nath was a crook. Mr. Nath could not afford to eat well due to his poverty or Maya thought that Mr. Nath was a good man. Correct option is, Maya was sure that Mr. Nath was a crook. Third is, who said that the Sunday visitor was a partner of Mr. Nath in his crime? Options are, Maya, Narrator, Nishan or Ramesh. Correct option is, Maya. Fourth is, how did Maya spend her unexpected holiday? Options are, she spent her holiday in writing the facts about Mr. Nath, by playing with her friends, by watching television or by sleeping on the bed. Correct option is, she spent her holiday in writing the facts about Mr. Nath. 
Students, now it's time to practice some questions given from the content. So, let's get started. Working with the text. Question number one is, does Nishant agree with Maya about Mr. Nath? How does he feel about him? Question number two is, give a brief description about Mr. Nath's visitor. Question number three is, who do you think Mr. Nath is? Write a paragraph about him. That's it for today kids. Till then, keep learning, keep growing. Thanks for watching. See you next video.